Irvine High School students creating gallery-worthy showpieces. The High School Art Exhibition is an annual show at the Irvine Fine Arts Center. We um, are showcasing just over 200 pieces from students from um, five local high schools um, in Irvine. And the exhibition ranges from painting to drawing to sculpture and 3D ceramics and printmaking. And these students are incredibly talented, so it's a huge honor for us to be able to showcase their work in a professional setting and kind of give them a taste of what it's like to show in a, in a gallery. Uh, I'm pretty happy my uh, sketch can be on the wall. It's really my pleasure to be here. Lillian tells us her pastel still life took three months to complete. For me, I'm just I'm just proud of my work because like, I'm glad I finished it because it took me so long and it took a lot of work so I'm just like I'm just happy enough to see like my finished work in a gallery. Lillian gets to see her drawing under bright lights in the gallery and what makes this even better is finding out she's won first place. It's really amazing because like there are so many good works in this show like I've seen so many things that I'm like wow I wish I could do that and then so like the fact that they picked mine is kind of like oh wow. <laughs> Elisa's color pencil drawing holds special meaning, reminding her of her childhood. This betta fish is actually a reference picture from when I lived in Hong Kong. And in Hong Kong, they actually sell betta fish in little plastic um, bags just like this. She too feels proud to have her work stand out. Honestly, I wasn't expecting an award um, when I came in here. I just um, thought I was going to look at art and have fun. And I'm so like excited that I won an award. Anna Bloomfield teaches art at Korean Lutheran High School. Many of her students' artwork is featured. We see some amazing talent in our school. Our students are extremely dedicated. They oftentimes practice 20, 30, 40 hours in uh, outside academies at home and uh, put in a lot of time and a lot of attention to their artwork, and you can see that here. So we're really proud of them. They do an amazing job. Nancy's art is in the category of graphic design with a focus on topography. Their assignment? To design a book jacket. In the past I've done mostly painting and drawing um, and so uh, this is actually the first year I've taken graphic design as a class and even pursued it um, outside of school and so it's really uh, validating to see it here um, in the show uh, being recognized because it is something I've new newly pursued. Yeah. Galen, a freshman at Woodbridge High School, explains his piece. We used a certain type of paint on paper and cut it into squares and using those squares we made a um, like a different environment for an animal to live in and in my case I had to do a tropical rainforest. I, this has never happened before, none of my art's ever been on a wall and so being the first time with this kind of project and my art on a wall it's such an amazing feeling to have. It's a testament to the city, it's a testament to the school district and to the people in the city who are stepping up and making it happen. You know, we just upgraded this fine arts facility a little bit ourselves as our contribution, but really at the end of the day it's the use that it's put to by the students, by their parents, by the school district, and um, at the end of the day the results are behind me and they're outstanding. This year, students who are members of the youth action team put on a poetry slam. I never looked inside of me where I have all the beauty I could ever need. We just need to persuade. Beauty isn't how much you weigh, the size of your eyes nor the width of your thighs. So frowning is all you ever do. People can't see the beauty within you. Praising the entity that is greater than man, greater than God, greater than Moloch, the almighty college board. The, <laughs> the being who loots and pillages wallets of many using acronyms like FETs and APs. The, who profits off the dreams of the youth and still dares to call itself a non-profit institution. She is everything you'd want in chaos, surrounding herself with other people's minds. A swirling, churning splash of humanity and she works to make sense of it all. Expressing a rather untraditional art form. You can check out the high school art exhibition for yourself at the Irvine Fine Arts Center. For Irvine Scene, I'm Jacqueline Twagg.